have you with us. I'm Laura Swan. This is the gorgeous Amanda Collins. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. Thank you. So she's joining us from a beautiful sacred forest in Ireland. Well, it could not be a more perfect place to celebrate the summer solstice today. So thank you for uh, driving and going to this gorgeous place to join us and to be together and do this very special activation and ritual today. I love you, sister. Mm. Oh, I love you too. And uh, it, that's just blissful, you know, so. <laughs> it's kind of what you do every day, right? You're just kind yes, of around yes. for us. So. You know, I'm always messaging you as I like, follow you from the forest, so. <laughs> every time I get a message from Amanda, she's telling me about the dew on the ground that she's walking on or the moss that's growing on the trees all around you. So yes, I hope to vicariously experience nature and such <laughs> way through you. <laughs> soon to be in person together here to be in person so. yeah so amanda and i are going to be leading a retreat together in ireland this very coming up soon in august mm. and we're going to talk a little bit about that at the end we have just one or two spots left i believe um, but we'll talk about that a little bit right now what i'd like to do is just take a moment to read a special quote before i go into our introduction one that really i feel captures the energy and the essence for today so you're welcome to close your eyes, everyone, if you'd like, or, or just listen here with your heart and ears open. So this comes from Dr. Guru Ratana, who's a wonderful yoga teacher. The women of the world are pregnant with potential for creating a peaceful world. The women of the world are ready to give birth to our dream of a sustainable planet. The women of the world can give breath of life to our deepest desire to experience love and a sense of community. It's time to take a bold and honest leap forward. It's time for each woman to know herself as a divine woman. It's time to recognize and honor the sacred gift of a woman. It's time for the world to be blessed with the healing presence of noble women. For there is no greater gift than the grace of a woman. So you can take a nice deep breath in and just let those words settle. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. So today, welcome everyone on summer solstice time, such a time to celebrate if you're in the Northern hemisphere, of course, the summer solstice today. And we are just so grateful to have you with us. We love to play together and create rituals and gatherings for women. This is something that Amanda and I have been just coming together this year to do. And it's so fun to join forces with a woman who truly embodies the goddess and empowers other women to do the same and truly walks your talk, Amanda. It's such a gift to, to do this work with you. It's so palpable when a woman has lived this and and been teaching it and sharing it so it's it's such a gift and what a treat that we both get to be here doing this with our goddesses joining us mm, well i feel like i'm looking in the mirror it's such an honor uh, you are just a magnificent priestess that i am honored to know and love oh thank you thank you thank you so i'll just introduce myself and then i'll give you an opportunity to introduce yourself and then take us into a grounding um, so I'm Laura Swan. I know a lot of you who are joining us. Some of you are new to me and I'm a women's transformational coach trained as a therapist and a coach and I've done lots of energy work and energy healing throughout my life. I've been leading women in circles since I was 16 years old I've Been drawn to that work for many, many years and am completely devoted to the rise of feminine power and heart and love on this planet because it is needed now more than ever and i am just so excited to do these live circles and these live events where we get to have women come from all over the globe and bring our hearts together and our intentions together to rise and empower ourselves and each other and the summer solstice is such a special time to do that so i'd like to turn it over to amanda so you can introduce yourself and then take us into a grounding mm, beautiful 
Well, thank you. Greetings on this magical summer solstice where the sun is high in the sky and you know, we're in this longest, longest day of the year. And um, well, so my name's Amanda Collins, just a little introduction. I am an or, I'm ordained Celtic priestess and um, I'm, I just have a love affair with the land in general, but the land here in Ireland is just so alive and magical and mystical. Um, so it's just my honor to lead women because the power in this in this place really activates um, healing and whatever that intention is, you know, we chatted about this before, Laura, when we have an intention to bring some healing in or to activate something or re-remember or reawaken. Um, when we have that deep connection with the land, the mother, it just is it, so profound. So um, let's start with a, a grounding here. And actually, I'm just going to pull off my shoes because I'm never wearing shoes in the forest, you know? <laughs> Especially when you think about it, something like with a, a rubber sole, right? It's just, you need to stand right on the earth. So with that, so it doesn't matter where you are, you know, if you're on the 10th floor in an apartment building or standing in, in the heart of a forest or wherever you are, we can ground with the earth. So I'm just gonna invite you even on this very uh, yang summer solstice, you, you know, it's like the most bright time of the year. And of course, depending where in the hemisphere you are, um, to go inwards, because what do we have to do in order to expand our consciousness, our light? We, we always have to go inwards. So let's take that time to just gently close our eyes and bring our awareness to our heart center. And together, let's take a big deep inhale and open our arms wide, expanding through your heart light and just allowing your heart to connect with this radiant, radiant sun right now, as well as still slightly in this energy of the full moon. So just feel your connection with your heart, with the sun. And then let's exhale our breath out and just give ourselves this beautiful big hug Beautiful. Let's do one more big deep inhale, opening, expanding, and just feel the yes. Like when you do this, you open your arms wide, you are saying yes to life, yes to your inner goddess, yes to opportunities, and then exhale, rounding. Beautiful. And then I'm going to invite you to send a grounding cord out the base of your spine out the soles of your feet, this beautiful grounding cord, and send it down out through wherever you are, perhaps the foundation of, of your home, down to the layers of soil and rock and perhaps water, whatever is below, and send your energy deep down into the heart of Mother Earth. So you feel that innate, intimate connection that you have. And when you're down there, you, you, you have this just a sense of I am home. And you'll know the second you've reached the heart of the earth because you just feel bathed in, in her nourishment. And feeling your connection with the water, which we will travel to together here, which you are made up of, what the earth's body is made up of. And that water is always guiding us home, always reminding us to, to go with the flow. You know, that, that divine feminine, not getting rigid or stuck and when we start doing, you know, stuck on something or controlling, the water just comes in and says, oh, just beauty, just go with the flow. And then feeling your connection with these trees, these magnificent trees and the roots that go deep down into the earth rep represent our ancestors. So on this summer solstice, I'm going to invite you to take a moment here to call in your ancestors. And that's, if we really want to heal our present selves, we, that's one of the first places to go is to our ancestors. So let's just take a moment to call in our ancestors from a heavenly realm that are here for the highest good. And feel your connection and feel the support of all your ancestors that have walked the path before you. And behind me here, which uh, we'll, we'll look at afterwards, is the oak tree. And in Gaelic, we call another name for the oak tree as Dur or Doris. Doris, which is doorway, like a doorway to another world or a doorway to the change in the season. And it's, it's, the second I said that, the wind just blew my dress right up. It's just like, yep, the ancestors just arrived in. <laughs> and then as the branches of this magnificent oak tree or any tree that is in your consciousness right now reaches up to the light, that, that is you as you 
ascend your consciousness as you as you rise up and so just feeling your connection with these ancient stones i mean the earth is four billion years old but a lot of these megalithic sites over here date back to six thousand years so as we call in our ancestors and we ground we are connecting with women goddesses our ancestors that have performed ceremony for thousands and thousands of years on this day to honor the sun this this transition in the seasons to pause this solstice means to stand still so let's just take a moment here together to stand still feeling your connection with the earth so I'm going to invite you to take another deep inhale and exhale, and then just invite that beautiful, grounded, earthy, centered, aligned energy up through the soles of your feet, up through the base of your spine, and feel that energy traveling up your body, up through the core, down out through your arms and fingers, all the way up to the crown of your head. And then feeling your connection to your higher self, a higher level of consciousness. And now I would like to take a moment, and I will do a lot of it in Gaelic, um, the, the mother tongue of where I am right now, the Irish language, where I open sacred space and call in a lot of um, gods and goddesses that are related with the summer solstice. So, Ichleim, when I say Ichleim, I mean I call upon, that's our Gaelic word. Ichleim, Boam, Boam, Ishka, the goddess of the waters. Ichleim Salas, the sun. Ichleim Breed, Bridget, the goddess of fire. Ichleim, the goddess of the white couple, the white horse, Fawn couple, also known as the goddess Rhiannon. Ichleim Lu, August Angus, the god of the sun and of soulmates, of love. Ichleim Onya. Ban Fasa Ertine. Chleum Kolcha August Moor. August Emas. August Is Expert Spirit. So I invite you now to take a moment to call in any of your guides your ancestors, anybody that you feel called to be here as we enter into this sacred space together on this sacred day with this beautiful, beautiful intention that we're going to talk about. So Laura, I invite you now, as we've evoked our sacred space, I'm going to pass the goddess baton to you. Mm -hmm. I just want to hang out there. I know, we, we are. Oh, that was beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. <sighs> so mm. lovely. Thank you so much for that. Mm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So we've come together to honor the summer solstice and also to honor this priestess energy that is rising in all of us and if you're on the call if you're here today then something about the priestess called to you um amanda is an ordained priestess an ordained celtic priestess how cool is that <laughs> the rituals and the the things that you carry out and circle with sisterhood. Many of us as women feel called to this rising energy of leadership, of sharing our spiritual connection, of sharing our connection to God, goddess, and actually allowing that to be at front and center and no longer hiding it underground. And many priestess traditions had to go underground, right, to be safe at certain times. And that has happened on the planet where women were 
teachers and spiritual leaders and, and leaders of ritual and rites of passage. And in some traditions, for many different reasons, whether it was more patriarchal religions became dominant, the priestess traditions had to go underground in some places to be safe. And now on the planet, this feminine energy, this divine feminine energy is rising. We're feeling it, this wave of feminism that is connected to our spirituality. Right? We've had many waves of feminism. Some of them have been based in really having to fight for rights, having to fight for what we needed. And this is a wave of feminine energy that's in love. And it doesn't mean we're not sometimes having to use our voices and be fierce, but it is in the name of love. And it is in the name of balance and harmony and creating interconnection versus more disconnection. And if you look at the news and you look around the world, there's a lot of disconnection. And so this priestess energy is women standing in their confidence and in their power and their wisdom of knowing what's right, knowing that harmony in nature and looking at the cycles of nature, that they give us wisdom, that we are deeply connected to them. And who Humanity has come quite far from standing in the forest where Amanda is right now. <laughs> Some of us, if you're living in a city, haven't been in a forest in eons, maybe years or months or weeks or whatever it might be. Whereas early humanity, that's how we existed. We were in harmony. And the priestess carried out rituals and rites of passage to connect people, to connect humans to the cycle of nature, which we could then look within and understand so much of our challenges and struggles by looking to nature. And so the priestess helps to be this intermediary between heaven and earth to connect people to our deepest roots, just like Amanda just did through that meditation, connecting us to the mother, to our deep roots of mother nature to help us remember who we are, to remember our deepest spirituality and connection to God and goddess and to really bring that power forth. And that's what I feel women are feeling called to. We may not understand it. We may not know where we maybe have done that in past lives or in our DNA somewhere. There's an awakening that we have this power, that we can be leaders, that we can help others connect to their deepest selves. And as priestesses, that's our role. Doesn't have to, you don't have to be an ordained priestess to feel that connection, right? But perhaps you feel drawn to different rituals, rites of passage, women's spirituality, because you can sense this in your own DNA, perhaps in your lineage many eons back, or in some sort of past life experience, you are a priestess. And today you are a priestess. And so the summer solstice, what felt really special about doing this right around now is that the summer solstice is about celebrating the light, right? And the light is at its full capacity. The light is fully shining. The light is, is allowing for this abundance of uh, fruits to grow and trees to blossom and flowers. And that is what we're inviting in you around your priestess energy, that you allow her to be in her full light. You allow her to be at her fullest capacity, shining bright without apology, right? Unapologetically, that there is a spiritual confidence that we awaken and we help to awaken in ourselves a spiritual confidence in trusting your intuition, your spiritual beliefs, your connection to nature, your connection to a very deep inherent knowing that may not make sense, but you know is inside of you. And so this summer solstice is like shining a light on that. It's amplifying and shining a light on something that's inside of you that sometimes remains dormant until we activate it and awaken it. So that's one of the things uh, that's really cool about archetypes that I like to teach in my programs and in my courses, that archetypes are within all of us. They're just forms and figures that we see within many different cultures and traditions. We see the hero archetype. We see the medicine woman, the medicine man. We see um, the teacher, right? These figures, these different people who play different roles and activate certain energy in, in the collective. And they actually are alive within all of us. And my mentor and teacher, Dr. Anita Johnston, one of my great teachers, shared some, an analogy with me that I think is really beautiful, that archetypes, you can think of them like the field of epigenetics. <laughs> and the field of epigenetics is that genes exist in our, in our 
body, right, in our DNA, and they get expressed by our, our environment bringing them forth, right? Certain genes exist that you may not even know, but they, they get expressed through our environment activating them. And I feel like that's some, a really cool analogy around these archetypes of the feminine, archetypes of feminine power, like the queen, like the lover, like the mother, all these different archetypes of the feminine that actually are within us, but it's through being in an environment that calls them forth, that empowers them and activates them by being around sisters who see you, who see the queen in you, who see the priestess in you. By being in that environment, it calls it forth and you get to feel and embody your power in a new way by being surrounded by an environment that says yes to it right and we have to choose to put ourselves in those environments and you've chosen to put yourself in an environment like that today to be in this priestess energy this goddess energy that calls forth that part of you calls forth a woman who believes in herself who trusts in her intuition who trusts in her spiritual powers Right? And so being in this environment today is what helps call that forth. Um, Amanda, are you okay? I just want to check in with you. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm tending to something here as a little a surprise I've got first. So. Okay. <laughs> Shall I? okay. Well, first of all, I want to share what I have here. These magical incenses. Um, this is the summer solstice. They're, actually, I got them in Glastonbury. So I'm going to put those on. And the other one that I want to show that I have here is Bridget, the goddess, the, one of the Irish goddesses that we call Finn. So this is an ancient Irish tradition. So we have a special treat for us here. So I'm going to take you I love that. Down. <laughs> and this is, you're like, where is Amanda got to become? I should what make sure you know. Is oh. our fire. So, okay. So this is for everybody here that is live on the call with us and everybody who's watching it. So this is an ancient Irish tradition. And this is like a portal into the light okay so um you know a lot of the time there would be big bonfires and uh, you would like jump over the fire for you know to share your trust and and your your sense of hope for the season ahead mm -hmm. um but it also is like a pathway into the light so what i'm going to invite everyone to do right now um and it's such a happy fire. Look at it. Um, I'm going to invite you all now because you, you know how energy works. It doesn't matter if you're physically here or not. I'm going to invite you to throw whatever you want to into the fire because this is the fire into the pathway of, of light, right? So I'm going to invite you to throw whatever you want that you think blocks you from your, your, your truest, truest potential. I'm going to invite you on this sacred day with this power of intention together to throw whatever you want to into the fire. So let's take a moment together to pause again for the summer solstice. And I'm gonna invite you to put whatever you want to in the fire, whatever experiences that you're ready to release, any old beliefs, um, any thoughts that you want to let go of about yourself or about an experience, a, a story that you want to let go of, um, a feeling, emotion, a physical pain, just put it into the fire. It's time to fully let it go. On this sacred day with this intention of all of us, just put whatever it is we want to uh, let go of fully. So I'm going to be pause here for a moment in silence. And watch the fire dance. Watch it, watch it speak to you. The fire is something to <clears throat> be respected and it has its boundaries. It's beautiful and it's powerful, but just like a priestess, it's beautiful and it's powerful like all of you. And when you have clear, healthy boundaries, there is respect and, and fire is unconditional love. It's passion, it's light. It's, it's, um, it has the ability to transmute energies so throw whatever that is into the fire and th this is my cauldron for for um <laughs> so this this has been used in ceremony and ritual for a long time Okay, thank you, beloved. Thank you, dear sister. 
Mm. That's that's part one of our ritual. So I, I'm going to pass our our goddess um, this moss covered baton over to you next. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. So let's stay in that energy. I uh, I want to invite everybody to close your eyes for a moment. And uh, Amanda, you're going to have to give me feedback here. I am playing a very soft drum beat. I want to make sure it. Oh, okay. beautiful. I want to make sure you can. Okay. So you just tell me if you can hear my voice. Um, Absolutely. And if you're not able to. Now, Amanda, can you speak for a moment? Yes. Okay, good. Can you hear me? Yeah. So okay. I'm going to play a very soft drum beat here as, as the backdrop in just a moment. Amanda, tell me if the sound is okay. Can you hear my voice okay? And can you hear the drum beat? Yes. 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 Yeah. Uh, wonderful. Good. And I'm going to pause that for a moment. Good. So I just wanted to make sure our technology was all set. Okay. So close your eyes for a moment, sisters, all those who are here with us. Take a nice deep breath. Stay with that beautiful energy of the fire. Beautiful energy of transmutation, power, healthy boundaries, light. And I read to you one more quote here from Judith Durek as we go into a visualization. So this visualization will be to help call forth your remembrance, your connection to your priestess energy and to your spiritual wisdom and power. So I'll guide you through that. From Judith Durick, Circle of Stone, she says, how might your life have been different if there had been a place for you? A place for you to go. A place of women to help you learn the ways of women. A place where you were nurtured from an ancient flow sustaining you and steadying you as you sought to become yourself. A place of women to help you find and trust the ancient flow already there within yourself, just waiting to be released. A place of women. How might your life be different? So let's go to that place, shall we? With your eyes closed, you're welcome to take some nice deep breaths again here. And we're going to imagine first that you are at the foot, at the entryway of a gorgeous forest. You can use Amanda's visuals there if you'd like to help you get really anchored into that. But you're in the entry of a forest and this is a perfectly safe and sacred forest. There is nothing here that can harm you. You can surround yourself with a beautiful golden bubble of light protection to know that you are completely safe within this visualization and within this forest and nothing that is allowed into this golden bubble of light that is it is not an interest to your highest good that it is not allowed into your awareness and so everything is kept safe within this beautiful sacred golden sphere of light and i want you to imagine that with your feet bare on the earth you start to walk down the path of a forest and you walk towards what you see in the middle, a very beautiful clearing, perhaps much like the clearing where Amanda is right now. And you start to hear the gentle sound of a drum beat in the distance. And you see up ahead of you that there is a circle of women that are standing and they are, there's a woman playing a drum. She seems to be beautifully dressed, perhaps in a gown or a white gown and all the women are dressed in white. And you can feel that there is significance to this particular gathering. There's something very important happening here. And this circle is right around the summer solstice on a full moon night, much like the one we just had. And the women are gathering together in ritual. 
And so you come to a circle and you see that there is a place open for you. And as you look around, the women look to you with very welcoming, open arms. You feel that you are totally welcome here. And you realize that this particular ritual on the full moon around the summer solstice is an activation ritual to help each woman come into her essence and her light. And all are standing around in anticipation and excitement and a little nervousness for what's to come. And so just take a moment to envision this circle around you, standing in a circle of women with the drums gently playing and the leader, the, the priestess who is there leading is there to actually help anoint and activate the other priestesses remembering, remembering who they are and what their soul purpose and light is here to give. And so with a very special anointing of every woman, each one steps into the center one at a time and when she steps into the center, the collective group of women start to sing a song along with the drum that is chanting her soul's essence, that is singing to her soul. And every song is unique. Each one is channeled in the moment and each one is absolutely beautiful. And when each woman receives her song, then the women around her reflect her soul essence word and they share with her what they see in her as her gifts as her light and as each woman has a turn to go then suddenly you realize that it is your turn for you to step into the center and with the moonlight above you and the smell of the forest and the moist earth beneath you, you are connected to all of the elements and the fire there at the very center of the circle. And as you listen to your song and hear the sound of the voices of all the women around you, you have a very deep remembrance of what it feels like to be totally loved and held and supported and seen and if you want to put your hand on your heart and your womb, you're welcome to do that. And you listen to your song and you hear the sound of their voices and it's so familiar. And when the song is complete, the women look to you and they reflect the word or words of your soul essence. And it is a word that resonates completely with your heart and soul. So take a moment to listen. What are the word, what are the words or the word that you hear that is a reflection of your light, your gifts, your power? What do they see in you? And just take a moment to breathe and listen to what you receive when I ask that question. Take a nice deep breath, receiving that acknowledgement and awareness of your light and your power, remembering. And then the priestess comes to before you and invites you to step before her and hands you rose petals and takes a bit of rose oil to anoint your third eye and presses right there and says, remember, who you are and why your soul is here. And you feel that anointing with the rose oil on your third eye and it blasts open an even deeper level of awareness and grounding into your being. And you can feel the earth 
rising up through your feet all the way to the crown of your head and to the tips of your fingers. And there is this union and connection with your soul and purpose and knowing. And then you take a moment to bow in gratitude to your sisters and to the leader and facilitator of the ritual. And you step back out to the circle and realize that now it is time for a celebration and a remembrance collectively of your power with your sisters. And so together, you start to dance. The drum beat starts to get a little bit faster. And everyone in the circle celebrates and acknowledges this light that they feel within. They celebrate around the fire. There is dancing, there is smiles, there is singing, there is an energy that is electric, a vibration that is so high and pure around the circle because each woman has just had a moment of remembering who she is and knowing it in every bit of her body. And blessed by the full moon, blessed by the summer solstice energy that says yes to your light, you dance. You take a few moments to just take that in, see yourself celebrating. And then the drumming slows down and comes to a hush. And you stand there around in circle, coming together once again, holding hands. And again, repeating your soul word or essence that you received. The word that is an embodiment of your light and your gifts. And if you'd like, you can take a moment right now to write that down. But I'm sure you'll remember it. So just taking a moment to plant that seed in your heart of that word and take a nice full deep breath saying thank you to your own inner psyche and soul for whatever you were able to receive from that visualization just acknowledging yourself and acknowledging your own awareness and when you're ready you can open your eyes and it looks like Amanda has brought us to the river. Let me just, there you go. Thank you, Bilal. That was just so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank you. I was right there, all of us in circle. That was beautiful. Thank you. And yes, we were in the heart of the forest and now we're over by the river. So I'm just going to give you a little look at where we are. Beautiful, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so beautiful. I'm gonna lay down there. <laughs> We're gonna be here soon, sister. Um, so the second part of our ritual, so the first part of it was, you know, with the fire and the sun, and we still are bringing the fire element in, and I have some uh, beautiful ferns here. And actually, the, um, I do a lot of foraging in the forest because it's it's amazing here how about 40% of the forest is actually edible. Mm -hmm. Like even beech le leaves you can eat. There's blackberries, uh, wild strawberries, um, wild blueberries, and um, oh, tons of others. But actually the top of the fern you can actually eat as well. It's edible, which a little curly part. It's amazing. So the second part of our ritual is going to be, I'm going to light again because it is all about the fire and the flame. And we're going to now that beautiful, beautiful journey that you took us on, what we remembered you know and it's like what is the sun shining upon for you to reawaken to re-remember to take action on or actually to just the being of you know so what is the sun shining the light on for you right now what what is it so i'm going to invite you to hold that intention as as i'm going to light um the flame and then I'm actually going to walk out into the river and I'm going to sail it down the river, our, all of our intentions together. So I'm just going to hike up my skirt here. <laughs> and our, here we go. 
<laughs> so what is it that your intention for this new season ahead? You know, and what's so amazing is here we are in the brightest, longest day of the year. And at the same time, there's promise for the darkness. There's promise for the inward, you know, it's that constant yin and yang cycle. You know, there's one thing we can be sure of is there always will be that change. So what's your intention there as it is moved along by the mother of, of pure consciousness? Like water has this amazing ability to carry consciousness. And your energy is here. Your energy is here in this sacred forest. Your energy is in your heart. All our energies are together. You know, we're, we're all sisters. So um, what an honor it is to be here with you, Laura, and all of you beloved, beautiful priestesses. Um, and there it is. It's just sailing down the river in, in beautiful flow. And I, I just want to take a moment to show you a couple of the other, just like what's growing wild in the forest right here. But these are the nettles. You know, I'm always talking about the nettles, Laura. You know, the nettles, which are the uh, medicinal qualities are just unbelievable. But then right next to it, this is, this is the dock leaf. So if you ever get stung by a nettle, what's amazing about Mother Nature is nettles, you know, are so amazing they clear out the blood that you know the kidneys everything but if you get stung by them because they do sting you these hello <laughs> there's somebody walking along there <laughs> and these dock leaves take the pain away and then even these little sticky things these will stick to your clothes these sticky willows they actually you can make teas i mean everything it's amazing how much is so i just wanted to share some of the bounty and the abundance that is around us like all the time, all the time. So, okay, Laura, and um, the moss <laughs> stick is getting handed back your way. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. So yeah, thank you, sisters. That really, that concludes our ritual part. And now we wanna take a little bit of time to share about the retreat that's coming up. There's a lot of you that have reached out that are interested and wanna know more. And so I just wanna take a moment to conclude the ritual part and to just invite you to do, um, if you like, do some journaling about what you saw or felt in the ritual. If you felt certain words or things reflected that I really encourage you to put those on your altar or on your computer screen or on your bathroom mirror to just write out that essence word. You know, sometimes as we evolve through different, uh, different phases of life, our, our essence word might evolve too. And so even if you've done a practice like this before, a ritual like this before, something new might have come through. Maybe there's a new evolution that's, that's calling you forth, it's beckoning you forth, that the light is wanting to shine upon today. And so I invite you as we go into this summer solstice time, which you know, it's right, we have around the next couple of days that the energy is really potent. And so I invite you to write that word down and, and then light a candle just like Amanda did, light a candle on your altar or on your computer safely, of course, and just a way of acknowledging and saying like, I am going to let this light shine. I'm going to say yes to my light. I'm going to say yes to my power uh, unapologetically if that feels true for you. And that can be a little way that you extend this ritual into your everyday life to just have a candle next to your essence words and you light that every day and say yes to your light. Okay, so then Amanda, let's talk a little bit about the Priestess Remembrance Retreat. We're a little bit embarrassed because we're actually not sure if we even have any spots left. <laughs> we think we have one or two because someone might have just signed up like right before uh, our retreat or right before this call, but we know we have at least one and maybe two um, spots left, which is so exciting. We thought we'd actually have quite a bit more left by, by this call, but it's filling up it's filling up and it's going to be such an incredible journey. We'd love to talk with you. I'd love to chat with you if you feel called to it. Um, it's going to be in Amanda's home area that she knows inside and out. And, and Amanda will be taking us to some of the most sacred sites that um, she knows and that she's taken women to for many years that women have gathered priestesses have gathered. I'm going to let you talk about this because that's, you know, magical to hear you talk about it, but where priestesses have gathered for eons. And I'd like you to talk about that. Just some of the history and the richness of these places that we're going and why is it 
why is it powerful to go to a place where women have gathered for many, many years? Like, what does that site hold? And how can that be powerful for us as we visit it? Are you really getting me started on this? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, first, of all, first, I want to introduce you to a very dear friend. <laughs> She's wearing a beautiful coat. <laughs> so this, this oak tree right here is is about 500 years old so i'm just i'm just snuggling in here and there's actually a little fair there's a little fairy door in your your little girl would love this and even pat like there's little there's little fairy doors in the trees so it's really sweet <laughs> there's a lot of fairy energy in this forest so well i am so so excited to share well, first of all laura you're just so magical and i'm so excited to share in this just together from the second we've connected like it was like love at first sight for me and it was just like <laughs> and it was just like oh my gosh it's gonna be magical so we are going to be staying in this beautiful manor at the base of a sacred mountain and we have our own couple of acres and home organic local cooked meals breakfast lunch and dinner um <laughs> so that's just kind of a little bit about where we'll be staying and then um so we'll have our own land you know because we're there during the full moon so we'll be doing our own full moon ceremonies and fire ceremonies and dancing on the land and drumming you know when we're there and then we'll be going off to the sacred site so um one of my actually everywhere we're going is amazing Oh, where is the manor? Oh, somebody's asking a question. Where is the manor? It's in County Wicklow in Ireland. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, um, so we're one of the we're going to a lot of amazing sites, but one of the sites that I absolutely love. You're so welcome, Don. Um, is La Cru, and um, the sites that we're going to are are older than the pyramids in Egypt. Uh, they we have. Um, knowledge that they date back over 6,000 years and um, La Cru is at the very top of a mountain um, in County Meath in Ireland and it's so beautiful and on a nice day which I imagine it probably would be in August here in Ireland and I actually the retreat that I just did last month it was lashing rain but that had its own magic too like oh my gosh like nobody cared they were dredged for five hours and nobody cared. it was just magic <laughs> I was really impressed I have to say priestesses for sure um but in August it, it will be warm it will be lovely um but this site has a, a cairn um a passage a tomb where um ritual and ceremony has been performed for six thousand years and it's it's built on a ley line and this ley line is amazing because these ley lines amplify energy healing intentions like to a whole nother realm like you step into the other worlds the the two of the dam and the fairy realm the the goddess realm and you um we're there at this cairn that you can actually enter it's like the womb right and then there's stone circles within that um, and there's a stone circle of empowerment and there's one of initiation and then there's one of healing and then there also is um which is one of this is the site is just magical but um there's the the throne is there the 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 Kaliak, she's an Irish goddess of extremely powerful Irish goddess she's the goddess of this site La Cru and um it is her throne and basically you um step into a whole nother level of your own priestess hood right um so we'll, this is one of the sites and on a nice day in Ireland up on this mountaintop it's amazing you can actually see over 60 percent of the country 360 all the way around so not even just to to mention like the oh the just pure beauty of it as well as the power because these ley lines like link are, are linked up with uh, the pyramids in Egypt they're linked up with Machu Picchu in Peru they're linked up with all the sacred sites in the world so when you stand on one of these sites you're standing on all the sacred sites that's that's the most amazing thing so um ancestors from from wherever on you are in the world when you step onto these sites you're connecting with with all of your ancestors all of us because there is that that oneness so um we are coming on our first kind of day just because everybody will be acme we're going to do some very special work here in this forest so if any of you that are coming with us are on the call um you'll you'll already like being here in spirit already <laughs> and um so we're going to some other very sacred sites um glenda lock is another extremely <clears throat> lady of the lake energy and um it's got a sacred wells a sacred lake uh, waterfalls it's the meeting of these two mountains and there's 
major lines, uh, ley lines of energy, and it's a place of rebirth. Mm -hmm. So it's like everywhere we're going has its own intention. There's rebirth and transformation and healing and initiation. So, and every day kind of is building upon itself. So, um, I'm passing this, where's our moss colored fatal? I've got to grab it so I can pass it. Here it is here. I'll just pass it on to you here, dear sister. Thank you. <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah. And, you know, just really speaking to that, that there's something about like Amanda, when she describes Ireland, like I think the word sacred is before almost every, like here's a sacred tree and here's a sacred, it's like everything is sacred in Ireland because there's so much history of where people have performed ritual and initiations and and come into their own awareness and spiritual healing and so this is like when a place has that memory right of so many years thousands of years of these rituals happening it holds that you know just like a home holds the energy of the family that's lived in it right like places hold such potency of intention and so i know from traveling to the holy land and from being in certain places in the world that there's just a vibration and a amplification of our healing that is unlike i mean of course you can do so much from your own home and everywhere in the world is sacred but there's something to this very beautiful place that will help amplify all of our intentions around stepping into our power as women and doing it together as a group with other women if you've never been on uh, a women's retreat or you've never been in circle it's that alone where if you could you could be anywhere on the planet and that alone is so healing in and of itself being in the energy steeped in a container, a safe container of other women that are holding you to your highest, seeing your light, it is unfortunately kind of, you know, the opposite of what the culture teaches around sisterhood and feminine relationships. There's a lot of competition, right? And so I know in my work and in Amanda's work, that's something that we just so um, gracefully and joyfully like to create the opposite of is this union and, and beauty between women and supporting each other and empowering each other and lifting each other up. And that's also really like the magic sauce of, <laughs> of any women's retreat is that there's that opportunity, let alone you have the gorgeous, you know, backdrop of Ireland and the sacredness of the sites. And so, you know, in between us, between Amanda and I, probably 30 some years experience of working with women and and doing this work so we just hold you with such safety and love to to come here and get what you need and so it's going to be such a joy and an honor to, to be i know there's some women on the call who are going to be there uh, sherry is going to be there and farron and uh some of the women who are here with us are going to be there and it's going to just be such an, an honor to hold this space with you and even if we do fill up you know after this call we'll have a waiting list and you never know what happens so um if you're interested no matter what just let us know and if you have any questions we're so happy to um, I'm happy to talk with you. I'm sure Amanda would be happy to answer questions. And um, well, I'm just getting a message right now from uh, this beautiful mother and daughter that are going to join us that they've booked their airline tickets so they're in deep joining. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just so came maybe, in right there. He's got the message. Okay, so maybe we only have one. We have to do our numbers, but we might only have one slot now. But that's beautiful. That's so cool. There's a mother daughter coming too. How special. Mm, beautiful. Uh, so thank you everyone for your time and your love and your presence. Everyone has stayed on the call the whole time, mm. taking this in and giving yourself this gift of this time. And no matter how we all play together, just it's such an honor to do this work and to come together in uh, sisterhood and in rising in our light and our power and just know from all my heart to yours how important and needed you are and how beautiful your light is no matter what you've experienced or been through your light is the truth and may this day and this season and this time of the solstice amplify and help you remember that more than anything else and the man mm. Mm, so beautiful this oh it's just like oh so nurturing and bountiful and beautiful and it's just such an honor to be here together on this beautiful day and i would like to just um take a moment for us all to you know when we open sacred space it's like inviting somebody into our home and you know just we'd invite somebody in and we would say thank you and um 
goodbye or we'll see you soon and when we open sacred space like this and we call in our ancestors and gods and goddesses it's very important that we don't go around with those kind of channels of energy open because we don't want to be open for other energies so um oh marianne hi love oh she's saying i wish i could come oh she's here with us on the call do you see her message she was just in ireland with us and oh Tara. oh i love us we're getting some shamrocks and uh, <laughs> Thank you. okay so i would just um let's just float our hands up to our heart center and uh, let's just take a deep inhale and exhale and um you know we're in this energy of the summer solstice for the next 48 hours so i i'm going to invite you to carry this energy on you know, create, if you don't already have an altar in your home, create an altar. And it doesn't have to be anything complicated. Just bring the elements in, light a candle. It, the most important thing is your intention and visiting it um, regularly and, and bring some maybe fresh flowers onto it and a, a crystal and a, maybe metal or a feather, just anything of significance or something that represents your intention in, as we dive into this new season together. Um, and, um, you know, even under the sun, you can put any of your crystals out to be bathed in this beautiful sun energy. Um, so I would just like to give deep, deep thanks to um, Gurv Mila Mila Mahaga, um, Banfasa, Agus, all of our guides, our ancestors, the gods and goddesses, the fairy realm, the fairies that were all here with us. Thank you, thank you for guiding us and being here with us as we close sacred space here together. Gurv Mila Mahabha Slan Lath. Thank you, beloveds. Thank you, Laura. Just such an honor and joy to be here together. <laughs> Ditto. <laughs> everyone beaming waterfalls sending waterfalls of love to all of you and thank you so much for joining us oh we'll see you next time around oh. oh thank you katie thank you monica was there too oh how beautiful you're welcome oh. you're welcome monica oh. you're welcome katie you're welcome. dawn it's beautiful you're thank you beloved love mm. to all of you mm. thank you <laughs> love <laughs>